Um, so this is the walkway into White House. We are on Upper Dorm Road and we are currently in the middle of NSO, moving students in, getting to meet them for the first time. Are you Victoria? I am. Laura Victoria, Victoria. Yeah. I'm Esther, it's nice to meet you. Hi, are you my RA? Um, I'm your spiritual life advisor. Are you an A suite? Yes. Perfect. SLA stands for Spiritual Life Advisor. My goal is to be able to lead the students one step closer to Christ throughout this year. Um, we've been praying for the girls as they come and we're hoping to build community in such a way that it is God-driven. I'm super stoked for this year. I'm excited to have these one-on-one -on -one conversations where I get to know my girls and get to hear their hearts and their life stories um, and just live life with them. You're gonna find stuff to do, for sure. Like, no matter what. Yeah, like, I, honestly, there have been nights where I just, like, stay up at the Hawk and don't do anything, like, all night. I remember... Those have been some of the best nights I've had. Right? Like, when you just don't go out, you go with, like, a couple of homies and you just sit at the Hawk talking. Well, the thing is, I'm killing my ID card. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm like, it's a lot of food. Yeah. Mm. I go to the Hog every night. You need to stop. Being an upperclassman was completely different than I had imagined. I knew I was basically going into this year being a freshman again because I didn't know the seniors because they were abroad um, when I was here and then I went abroad when they were here. I don't know any of the freshmen because they're new and then I didn't know any of the sophomores because they went abroad. Um, and it feels pretty good. I like the idea of not knowing a lot of people. It gives me a reason to get out of my dorm, uh, a reason to talk to new people every day. So right now um, I'm doing what is very difficult, which is trying to catch the shuttle and there's no, I don't think in any way I'm going to be able to catch the shuttle. But it's just sitting there and it's been sitting there for about like a good 30 seconds so it may not be moving for a while. I'm going to try and see if I can't get it. Oh, I don't want to run though. Let's see. Oh shoot, this might actually be possible. Hold up. Hold up, we actually might make this. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, let's go. Yeah, um, since school has started, I usually wake up probably around eight o'clock, um, get up, shower, uh, get dressed, and then go down and eat at the cafe. Um, if I have homework, I try and knock it out in the morning if I didn't finish it last night. And after that, uh, I just go to class. My classes are not too hectic this year at all. Um, Mondays and Thursdays are usually my worst days because I'll have three classes in a row, but other than that, it's just been really, like, relaxing. Dresher is, one, extremely quiet. Like, I cannot believe, and I need my sleep, so, like, I'm a very light sleeper, so the worst thing that, I, that can happen is, like, a bunch of noise late at night. Like, freshman dorms, everybody was screaming across each other, everybody was laughing, which is good and everything, but I like to have a place to study, a place to sleep, a place to just relax and get away from it all, so being, like, almost at the very top of Pepperdine is, like, a blessing in, in disguise. This is amazing for me. Uh, I thank God for the fact that I was able to go to BA, come back, still be on the same classes and be here. Uh, this is home for me and I can't wait to see how this year goes. Right now we are in the Fireside Room. Um, ICA, which is the Intercultural Affairs Office, is doing this dessert reception for all of the NSO students coming in. The world needs people who are not afraid to have difficult dialogue. The world needs people who are impassioned by the mission of Jesus Christ. But most importantly, the world needs Pepperdine students. So thank you so much for being here. Students, I'll see you soon. Thank you so much. Um, so they basically invited a bunch of students that are involved on campus just to talk about um, kind of what we do, what we're involved in, what our leadership is on campus, and why it's great to kind of take time to find your Pepperdine community once you get here. Um, I think one of my first biggest challenges when coming to Pepperdine was definitely adjusting to the community, which is um, pretty ironic since here we're just talking all about how many communities Pepperdine has, but that was one of the reasons why, is because coming here, um, everyone is so excited and so ready to go out there and get involved in anything that you want to do, and we have so many opportunities for you, um, but mine was kind of limiting it to what I actually genuinely want to get into and kind of finding myself through that. 
God have mercy. So, welcome to the Stinkies. As it is known at Pepperdine, there used to be a sewage treatment center here, right beside, so it used to smell really bad. It doesn't anymore, I promise. So, one of the really nice things about Stinkies is while you get the off-campus feel, it's still really close to Pepperdine, so it's easy to be connected on campus. It's just like a two minute drive, so I never feel like it's a drag to go back to campus. Whereas if you live in Calabasas or Santa Monica, it can be a bit of a trek, and you just gotta kinda stay out here in between class. I live with John Michael and Gavin, two of my good friends from freshman year, and I went abroad with John Michael. We each have our own room, it's awesome. We have an ocean view, and I'm really loving it so far. My main favorite thing about living off campus like that is having a kitchen and being able to cook a ton, because I really like to cook. So this is the pad. I have my Canada flag from freshman year. It was in my dorm. Then this I got from the last owners. They had it downstairs, but I thought it made kind of a cool bedboard. I only had a flat, so it worked well. And then this is actually a tapestry I had in my room freshman year. It just broke two days ago, but it usually hangs up over here and looks cool and stuff. This I got from a garage sale then the summer. Pretty standard issue. Malibu stuff. This is my office space. I don't really use it that much, but it is nice to be able to do work here. After we finished up, first week of school, I picked up my friend Davis. Yeah, we just played some FIFA, broke down the week, talked about our goals for the year, how it is to be back, because we're both kind of in different places since he's on the smaller side of his grade, not going abroad, and I'm going back from abroad, so. So what, what is it like transitioning from being in Europe for a whole year and then coming back to being in America? Yeah, I mean, I think like the main thing that is different is when you have a weekend or some free time, you're just kind of hanging out with your friends. It's not like, oh, are we going to go to Paris this weekend? Are we going to do this crazy trip? Yeah. It's just like kind of different, but I'm so content in like the ordinary day-to-day -day stuff I'm doing. Like traveling was fun and so different and exciting, but with like the different and the exciting comes like the stress of planning the trip and like the financial stress and just everything. And so to be doing just like average weekends now, I'm pretty happy to just be hanging out here. Going abroad last year, I feel like I'm almost a sophomore. I'm really excited for the ball to start rolling, get busy with classes and sports again, and I'm really looking forward to junior year. So we're having burritos at the borough, and it is a housewarming party because it's our first time that we're all gonna be back together in our apartment, and we really like having we're all pretty social people, so we really like having people over, and um, it'll be a good time for all of our friends to kind of be together again in one place and not spread out all over Europe and Argentina. I think the first week being back on campus is a little overwhelming just because everyone's been spread out over the past year in multiple countries and continents. So seeing everyone all together again is super exciting, but also you can't catch up with one phrase like, how was abroad? I, that just does not do it justice at all. So I think one of the things that my roommates and I knew we wanted to do this year was to provide a space for people to all come together and be together and Having dinner together seems like a good way to start. Everyone loves Mexican food, so can't go wrong with that. You know my kitchen better than I do right now. <laughs> I know. She's like, let me show you. Okay. Okay, yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah, yeah. and then just like scoop it. Do you need help? I feel like you're stressed. I'm not stressed. Okay. Kate, let me do this. I'm not stressed. Are you sure? I'm not stressed. <laughs> Did not you get all. that on film? <laughs> I was kidding. <laughs> Does someone want to pray for us? Is there any SLAs in the group? Be able to have fellowship together, Lord. And I just pray that you'll bless all the conversations that go on tonight, Lord. And uh, yeah, we'll still have good time. Amen. 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 <laughs> yeah, I was so excited about how many people came over. I'm like, wow, I have friends, which was. <laughs> I guess an encouraging thing to realize, but it was neat to see everyone connecting so well, especially especially after having been apart. And seeing everyone hanging out and having a good time was a really encouraging way to start off my semester. Yeah.
Yeah, have you had like an afternoon self care yet or no? Nope. <laughs> I don't. I haven't scheduled in any me time. But okay, I would. You need to do that. I know. I do. I know. I need to find time to decompress me and do that. Yeah. But I haven't. Yeah. When you have free time, do you find your yeah, okay. residence? Now that I've had a relationship with everybody since it's not so much junior and freshman, yeah. it's a lot it's a lot better because I can I can talk to them about real life, I can talk to them about what's going on with them, not just what's your major work, what's your hometown, how are your classes, what are you looking forward to this year? Which are great questions too, but no one can do freshman year of college alone. No. Yeah. Can't do junior year of college alone. <laughs> yeah, true true that girl. <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy to think that Pepperdine is over halfway done, and I think it's really cool to now be an upperclassman and to get to see the freshmen coming and be so excited and starting off their Pepperdine career and getting to hopefully invest in some of their lives this semester and this year is a really cool opportunity, but I think just reminding myself to be very present in these moments and intentional and not wish away my semester if there's hard exams coming up or projects to not say, oh, after this is done, then I'll be okay. I think that this year I really want to appreciate every day and every moment without being cliche. I think that being content with where you're at, no matter what you have going on, is a really important thing and not wishing away the rest of my time here at Pepperdine, but really um, taking advantage of where I am and who I'm with. You got to hold on. You got to.